morning guys, Mark Farash from Protect Dog Training. Out at Bass Pro today training dogs and it was like a party fest for dog trainers. I think I saw three, maybe even four different dog trainers with different dogs and uh, working their dogs in the store. I had one that was approached by the corporate and asked him to leave and no training in the store. So um, it makes me think about the whole evolution of what's happening. I've been doing this for 20, 30 years, so I kind of feel like I'm one of the few people who started all this as far as environmental, uh, way back in the day. And now all the, the trainers start to hear me chatter and, and it starts to grow, and pretty soon everybody's realizing the same thing that I've known for years, that environment's very important. But here's the thing, it only takes one of us, okay, one trainer to go in there and get all stinky-eyed and get pissed off and mad and start getting upset and screaming. Corporate watches us, you know, they pay attention. They don't have to have us in their stores, okay? They can shut us down real easy, right? Um, they're dog friendly because they know that the, a lot of their people have dogs and that's they, what they want to do is a good environment too. But then you have people like me and these other trainers that are out there trying to do things with their dogs like downstays and stuff like that, that that puts in their mind, okay, in their mind it puts the public at risk because only takes one accident to happen you have a dog that's nervous and afraid and whatever happens um, to the point where you end up uh, having an accident and there's liability involved, right? So that being the case, that liability is going to go on their store, right? And so they have a, they have a reason to be uh, concerned with it, right? So all I can say is really, really work hard to make sure that you earn your relationships that you respect that it's their house, it's not yours. And that, cause for years I've done this and I've never had a problem, but it now seems like there's more and more problem than I can un now I understand it. When I saw all those trainers in there and it was like a zoo fest, it was like, oh, now I get it. The word's going out and we're all doing the same thing, okay? So it wasn't that they were doing anything wrong, but now it's even more evident that you have trainers in there using their store to do their thing, because there was, like I said, four of us five of us. And again, it wasn't that it was anything majorly wrong, but that saturation drew attention to management, right? And then again, it only takes one time I was talking to one of the trainers, and he tells me he's been down there three, four times, he must live close by, and he's using that store real heavy. And so like I told him, it only takes one time for you to get a stinky eye and get upset, get mad, and get belligerent to make it tough on all of us. Okay? So all I can say is for those trainers that are listening to this that pay attention to what I have to say, please work real hard to be polite and realize that it's their store and have the right decorum and don't owe out overwhelm. You're welcome, right? Um, as an example, this trainer that's in there right now that's been there three or four times, you got to learn that you got to bounce away. You can't just go to Bass Pro all the time. you got to not, don't wear out your welcome. You heard that term, right? Don't wear out your welcome, right? I bounce to a lot of different stores, and if I sense it, if I feel it, that they're getting a little bit edgy because of me showing up, I'm, I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to disappear, I'm going to go somewhere else for a while. And then I'm going to intermittently show back up one time, and then you see what I'm saying? Don't wear out your welcome, and show respect, and do not get upset, because it's their house, it's not your house, right? Very important. Otherwise, what will end up happening is that one time is all it takes and you'll blow us all out of the water because you don't think that corporate has their own communication okay they communicate they watch they pay attention their store security they're you know they're they're watching and they're paying attention and if we make it tough on ourselves because we wear out our welcome or we get stinky eye and we get belligerent we will ruin it for everybody okay and then pretty soon they will shut the gate and they will shut the door on us because they do not want that liability in their stores, right? You are a guest, right? Very important. So just keep it in mind and realize that don't wear out your welcome. Be a little bit more intermittent with where you go. Don't go there all the time and become an eyesore to where pretty soon you become a problem, right? Then also work very hard to build your relationships, earn their respect, and be respectful, okay? I think it was Mother's Day or a holiday just recently I went up I was working at Home Depot, and the manager come out and he asked me not to do a downstay next to the store. Why? You have to understand where their heads are at. They're there to sell product. They don't care anything about anything else than their merchandising of their store, their marketing, and their 
bring in of their cash register. They're there to make a profit, right? That's their main concern. They're only having us there as a way of making their stores be more friendly for their customers to come in. But if we become a problem, it's not going to be too hard for them to change that. And they have their communication, believe me, okay? They have corporate communication. They talk to each other. They pay attention. This stuff keeps coming up throughout the country. You ever think about it? Bass Pro, Home Depot, um, Tractor Supply. Those are corporate stores that have stores throughout the United States, okay? You ever notice that they market and they merchandise their stores all the same across the board? They all look the same. They all have the same feel. Their marketing is the same across. That's communication, right? You don't think they communicate about us as well, okay? You have to be respectful or you will, you will ruin it for everybody, okay? So just a, a word to the wise, and I hope this goes out. Everybody pays attention to that, and we all work hard to earn our respect and to not hurt what we need. We need that environment. If we don't have that environment, we can't work our dogs to the levels that we do. Very important that we have stable, well-developed dogs. Their environments are very important to us. You don't want to blow that out of the water. You don't want to hurt, ruin it for everybody because you're a belligerent idiot, right? Don't do that, right? Show respect. All right, enough. Mark for Action Protect Dog Training signing off. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.